Hello, today I'm going to introduce the Bixby Home Studio. The Bixby Home Studio is part of the Bixby Home Platform, a platform to enable Bixby voice control of your IoT devices using the Samsung SmartThings platform. The Home Platform is designed for IoT device manufacturers, e.g. makers of smart switches, smart bulbs, smart sensors, smart locks, etc. The Bixby Home Platform lets you customize the voice interactions for your IoT devices. This is done using the Bixby Home Studio, a drag and drop GUI editor to create a voice interface for your IoT devices. What's revolutionary about the Bixby Home Studio is it lets you query the status of an IoT device and use that status to affect the result of the user's request. Let's take an example. All right, the old way of doing things would be something like this. You'd say, hi, Bixby, turn on the air purifier. Bixby would get that request, identify it was the air purifier, call smart things, and it would turn the air purifier on. Then you might say something like, what's the air quality? Bixby would get the request, query through smart things, the air purifier, which would turn back the air quality. And then it may say something like the air quality is poor. In which case, you would say, turn up the air purifier fan. Bixby would get that. Call smart things that then it would turn up the air purifier fan. All right, that's the old way of doing things. Now let's see a smarter, better way of doing things enabled by the Bixby Home Studio. All right, the new way, I would just say, hi Bixby, turn on the air purifier. Now Bixby would get that request, but instead of simply turning on the air purifier, now I would go through a program and a set of steps that I defined using the Bixby Home Studio. So Bixby would go ahead and turn on the air purifier. Then it would go query the air quality. And if the air quality was too low, it would then ask the device to turn up the fan and then it would turn a response back to the user. So here you can see a great example of using the Bixby Home Studio to be smarter. The user said to turn on the air purifier, but using the Bixby Home Studio, I also checked the air quality, and if the air quality was too low, then I asked the air purifier to turn its fan up to be more effective. A great example of the power of the Bixby Home Studio. All right, I wanna jump into the Bixby Home Studio, but first I wanna show you the setup uh, that I've created. This is using SmartThings that we're gonna use for this example. All right, now I have a switch here on this case, it is a TP-Link Casa switch, but it can be many, many different brands of switches. And a little nightlight attached to that switch. All right, and then that is integrated through SmartThings. So if I you look at SmartThings, I have the ability to turn that light on, turn it off, turn it back on again, we'll turn it off. All right, let's jump over to the Bixby Home Studio and see it in action. All right. Here we are on the home page of the Bixby Home Studio, and I'm gonna start a new project. So I'll click on new project. Uh, Smart Things location, I'm gonna use my home. The test switch, that's the switch that we're gonna use. Uh, and I'm gonna create, choose create metadata using Smart Things capabilities of the device. This is a smart starting point. It's basically gonna query Smart Things and say, what are all the things the device can do? And I'm gonna bring that those capabilities into the Bixby Home Studio. So I'm gonna click on that, click Next. All right, now I get a list of the device capabilities. There's three capabilities of this device that I can control through SmartThings. One, I can get the status. Two, I can turn device on. Three, I can turn it off. Let's choose all three of those. Click Next. And then project name, we'll just call this Test Project. Click Done. And now I get over here on the left, this metadata profile. Uh, this is for that switch. And I have three voice intents, get status, turn on, turn off. Let's take a look at get status. Open that up. I'm gonna click on graph, all right? I mentioned earlier that Home Studio is a drag and drop GUI editor. Here you can see the drag and drop GUI editor and it's been pre-populated with a flow based upon what SmartThings knows about that device. Let's take a quick look at this flow. All right, the start. So when the Bixby 
When Bixby gets the command, say something like get the status of the device, you would start here and an attribute. That's going to query an attribute and then it's going to return and do an equal, equal to on. If equal to on is true, then I give the true response. It's on. If it's false, it's off. All right, now let's see this in action. I can go ahead and click on try it. And boom, the device is off. You can see it ran and it shows the flow uh, of that execution. All right, so that's get status. Now let's take a look at turn on. Open the graph for that. All right, new graph here. We start, so this would be in response to the voice command, turn on the device. I'd start here. Then I'd run this command to turn the switch on. If it was successful, I return the response for success. If it fails, I return the response for fail. So let's go ahead and try it. Boom, it turned the device on, as you can see right there. All right, so that's the device on. Now let's turn the device off. Click off, click on the graph. All right, start. The command is to turn the device off. There's a success if it works and a fail if it doesn't. All right, try it. Boom, succeeded. And now, as you can see, the device is off. All right, now let's turn that device back on one more time. Just run, try it. All right, it is back on. And let's go get the status and see if this is detecting that the device is on. All right, because the first time we ran it, the device was off. Let's go ahead and try it. The device is on. All right, as you can see, the flow was the device is on. So there you go, three capabilities of that device. I can check the status, I can turn it on, I can turn it off, and there's this GUI editor that lets me drag and drop and create a flow for each of those commands. Now this is just the basics that I've shown you today, kind of what's built in out of the box. But in some future videos, I'm gonna show you more interesting things where you can actually query the status of the device and then do something different based upon what the user requested. But thank you so much. Enjoy trying out the Bixby Home Studio.